what is going on squad today you're joining me in my backyard and we are on a unique deload phase in the gym all right so i've been hitting it hard for six to eight weeks i've been focusing a lot on hypertrophy if you haven't noticed i gained quite a bit of weight since the beginning of the year i've been on a, on a bulk and it's been brutal i hate being in a calorie surplus if you don't know me i like to be thin and cut like bruce so i'm feeling out of my element right now so i'm giving my body a little bit of a break um, for this week and we're going to go six by six this week all right so here's the deal normally i would do shoulders today instead i decided to do the six by six equivalent for the iso max just this should take me about 30 minutes all right so we're going to do the shoulder press from bottom mid and top position we're going to do the shoulder shrug in the only strap position we can do which is here and then we're going to do front raise here and here okay so let's see what we get i'm going to be totally pooped by the end i can already tell but uh let's do this so we're going to start with overhead press and the straps just in case you're wondering so i'm five nine um so my straps are 23 for low 25 for mid 27 for top Front raise 20, 22, and the shrug is always gonna be strap eight for me. Let's go. So what I was really excited about here was what these numbers were going to look like, what my rate of perceived exertion was gonna be like after five consecutive all out shoulder exercise. Now I've at most done two shoulder exercises in a row. And if I've done more than that, it hasn't been in a six by six format. It's like maybe, you know, one by six or at most three. I've never done this many consecutive six by six exercises that targeted the same muscle group in a row ever, ever since 2020. So I was actually really interested to see what was going to happen. So the shoulder press, you know, I'm starting with low here. And when I'm doing these low position shoulder presses, I really have to find that sweet spot. Now, it's definitely all about uh, contracting the core. If I don't contract the core, if we don't contract the core, we're going to start to notice an arch in the back. And this is, it would be the same in the weight room where if there's a weak core, you're gonna notice excessive back arching and improper form, which probably won't hurt you then, but it will over time, given the continued poor spinal alignment with all those upward forces, especially if we're talking about max voluntary contraction here of 100% um, exertion. So that that is just unacceptable. So you're gonna see me really focus on contracting the core here. At the end of the sixth rep on the six by six at low position, I was feeling it. I was definitely feeling it. The numbers, as you can see on the screen, definitely weren't able to maintain themselves throughout the entire. I mean, it's it's gonna it's gonna take a dip. It, it makes sense. Like if you do any type of workout on the third set, you're not gonna be as strong as your first one. Makes sense to me, right? So here's where the fun began. <laughs> Because on mid position is when my muscles were like, bro, 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 calm down, relax. We're not going all in like you want us to. So right around like the end of the third at middle position for shoulder press. Oh my God, guys, the lactic acid just built up so bad. It just started to burn. And don't get me wrong, I loved it, but I mean, it hurt. I, I was really trying hard to adhere to the 20 second rest interval so it started to slip in like 25 and 30 and what i was doing was i was looking at the timer for the video on my phone as the rest time and i just barely made it out but yeah it was oh my goodness it burned but it was fantastic it really felt like when i'm doing a great set of arnold presses in the in the weight room and i'm doing about 10 to 12 reps and you know you get that lactic acid build up right around like rep 8 rep 9 that's what it felt like only it didn't go away so it still continued into the um the high position shoulder press where you know you know the one where you have no strength that one so it <laughs> i promise you it might have looked like i was kind of just gassing out and like giving up and not really um exerting myself 100 percent and and guys you know if, if you're new to the channel if you've never done this all right, I challenge you to perform all of these exercises in a row and then 
when you're starting to hit that fatigue like here, it's it's gonna look like that. I I, I challenge you <laughs> to really give it your all because even though the numbers did start to tank as I just naturally started to lose strength, I promise you I gave it everything I had. No matter what the video looked like and no matter what the number on the on a display looked like, I gave it everything I had. And you know when I trained my clients on the ISO chain and ISO max, and they're like. Oh man, this is just not a bad. No, it's a good day. As long as you exert full force, there's really nothing more. That's exactly what you want to be able to do here. So here's where I cut off and I tell you guys about what my thoughts are halfway through. All right, guys. So we're about halfway in and my shoulders are just about fried. I can... Wow, I've never seen this striation before. Um, so it's one of those things where I I hit muscle failure right around like the second set of uh, strap 25 shoulder presses. So I still have strap 27, which is my weakest one. And then the two front raises, the numbers are probably going to be trash, but it doesn't matter because we still want to take the muscles to failure. So we're gonna see what happens. I don't really care about what the number shows. I just want to be able to take my muscles to failure, which so far, it seems like I'm going to have no problem doing just that. Now, something I want to let us know, squad, is that when I had that little quote unquote break where I'm telling you guys about the halfway point, as soon as I finished talking, I went right into the front raise. So I had the front raise at shoulder height and I had it a little lower. Now, the first, this is the first time I was ever doing it a little lower than shoulder height. I've always done front raise on the ISO chain and now ISO max at shoulder height. So this was different. Regardless, it wouldn't have mattered what freaking height I did. The lactic acid buildup was so high. It hurt and I was just trying my best to have a poker face but it freaking burns if you again if you've done this you know what I'm talking about like it really felt like I just went in the gym for 90 minutes and blasted my shoulders there was nothing left I couldn't put a freaking feather on my hand and pushed it over my head after all six of these um front raises and the one at the lower strap as well I mean I was fried so this is now 30 sets of six second contractions at full 100% capacity, I'm done. That's it, it's, it's game over. Now, the last exercise was the shrug. And the shrug, now don't get me wrong, I definitely felt it. I felt a, a build up in my traps and I really loved the exercise. I decided to have a conventional grip. Normally I do mixed grip for shrugs. I decided to do a, a conventional grip and I feel like my body responded well. You know, I really like the um, the feeling in my traps as I brought my shoulders up into the contraction for the shoulder shrug. What I failed at for this exercise, and I mentioned it at the end, is that I should have added another six by six for shrugs maybe adjusted my hand positioning to make it slightly different or made it a rear shrug. Rear shrugs are great. If you haven't done a, a rear shrug on here, here's a link right here. Go ahead and check that out. It's a fantastic exercise. But that was my mistake. Not having another trap exercise for shoulders. But other than that, I was totally taken aback by how much this burnt and how effective it was. Not that I needed selling. But I, again, I've never done that many consecutive six by six exercises ever, ever on the channel. So ever period off or on camera. So, and that felt great. I highly recommend it. And again, I wanted something that was going to be able to replace my shoulder workout in the weight room. And I have to say minus the shoulder shrug mishap, I was certainly pleased with the results and how I felt at the end of the workout.